All right, uh, Shalom. Before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and citations, all like Akima Aqua, learning, teaching, truth, and sincerity. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep this one short. You know, if y'all watched the last video, you know, my voice ain't the best right now. The more I talk, it irritates my throat. But I happen to come across this, y'all. And what did this go to show you something, man? All these idols, like the scriptures say, they're all fucking nothing. And all of the bullshit that people worship today, it all goes back to what? Ancient Babylon, all right, Canaanites, Hittites, all right, them different Ham Hamitic cultures, the Sumerians, which is, you know, Assyrians. It's, it's the same stuff all over again, all right? Now, I was watching a video on YouTube. It was actually based off a video game. But I heard this word get mentioned by all Hadad. And it said how he was the god of the Canaanites and of, you know, basically during the time of the Israelites, if you will. And I was like, huh. You know, I was like, okay, well, I'm familiar with Baal. I'm like, well, let's see who Hadad is. Baal Hadad. So you click on it, right? <clears throat> it says uh, Hadad or Iskor was the storm and rain god in the Canaanite and ancient Mesopotamian religions. <clears throat> he was attested in Ebla as Hada. Let's see. It says, Hadad was introduced to Mesopotamia by the Amorites, where he became, where he became known as the Akkadian, Assyrian, Babylonian god, Hadad. It says, Hadad was also called Pedar, Rapu, Baal Zephon, or often simply Baal. It says, but this title was used also for other gods. The bull was symbolic, was the symbolic animal of Hadad. He appeared bearded, often holding a club and thunderbolt, while wearing a bullhorn headdress. <coughs> Hadad was equated with the Greek god Zeus, the Roman god Jupiter, and in the cult center near Dolish in Asia Minor, he was addressed as Jupiter Dolishinus, as well as the Hittite storm god Teshu. So this motherfucker's everybody. It says god of weather, hurricane, storms, thunder, and rain. You jump down. All right, you look at uh, Zechariah 12 and 11 real quick. All right, and we understand that, uh, you know, basically in the kingdom of heaven, there's going to be an event where we mourn how our Lord was crucified. <coughs> and we're going to see that body of his that was, you know, scarred and beaten. And, you know, apparently this, this is, you know, our people had a custom where they was mourning it tells you also, so you just read it, Zechariah 12 and 11. And that day there shall be a great morning in Jerusalem as the morning of Hadad Ramon in the valley of Megadon. So you click on it. <clears throat> click on Hadad Ramon. It says, Hey Dad of the Pomegranates. Now the place itself, Megiddo, says a place in the valley of Megiddo where a national lamentation was held for the death. For the death of King Josiah, which was Josiah who had the great Passover, but it also says named after two Syrian gods, Hadad and Ramon. Come down some more. What? It says both Hadad and Ramon are the names of Syrian idols. All right. But when you come back, so you go back to this Baal Hadad, look at the equivalents. It says Greek equivalent, Zeus, Roman equivalent, Jupiter. Norse equivalent Thor, Hinduism equivalent Indra, Canaanite equivalent Baal, Celtic equivalent Tyrannus, Hittite equivalent Teshub. All right. So this is a whole bunch of BS. You know these muff. Hey, look, y'all. You know no 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 originality with it. You know they at least could have switched it up or something. But this just goes to show you y'all. There's a reason why the Heavenly Father said not to worship these idols. They're all they're all bullshit. It says Hadad in the Bible. 
It says it's referenced multiple times as a God worshipped by non-believers of Yahweh. All right, the God of the Israelites. So people, you know, the, another the Baal, if you will. Said Hadad is usually referred to as Baal and is characterized and seen as a God who wants the same power and authority that the God of the Israelites holds in Judeo Christianity. It says in the books of King in the books of Kings, <clears throat> Jezebel, the wife of the northern Israelite king Ahab, served as an advocate of Hadad in her adopted nation, or right, because she was a, a, a Hamite. She enters into conflict with the prophet Elijah over which deity is more powerful and authoritative. In the end, Elijah is able to prove the superiority of Yahweh. Jezebel, therefore, wishes to murder Elijah, causing him to flee and, and despair. Ahab and Jezebel both eventually die in a gruesome manner and are overthrown by the events. Yahweh told Elijah to instruct his people, Elisha, to orchestrate. So, you know, hey, right there, you know, just showing you some of the history on it. Hey, these the, the, these wicked people and their worshiping of idols has always been, you know, we've always been at conflict with them because they're always trying to be on the level. They're always trying to put their idols on the level of the Heavenly Father. But that's not possible because the Heavenly Father is the only true living God and his son, Yahweh Shai, is underneath him and nobody can top them. There's nothing else in existence outside of them, too. You know, and of course, you know, the angels, archangels, but there is no Thor. Nigga, all right, there is no, you know, not calling you brothers and sisters, nigga, I'm talking to these people, you know, there is no, there is, there is no, no Indra, god damn it, all right, let me see, okay, yeah, yep, Psalms 96 and 4 for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods, for all the gods and nations are idols. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai made the heavens plain and simple. All these other gods are idols, they're false, they're fake, they're fucking phonies. And they cannot be compared because they don't exist. Alright, and just one more, you know, my throat's starting to hurt doing all this talking. <clears throat> Zephaniah 2 and 11. The Lord will be terrible unto them, for he will famish all the gods of the earth, and men shall worship him, everyone from his own place, even all the isles of the heathen. All right? So everyone is going to be forced to acknowledge that the only true God is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai. And even these heathen in the kingdom, they're going to give praises to our God and to nothing else. And anyone who defies us will be utterly destroyed. All right? But I just found it interesting how you know all these all these idols y'all is really just a handful of them that go back to them ancient hermetic canaanite you know babylonian gods you know uh uh canaan babylon you know, originally was put together uh by nimrod you know which he was a hamite and then the neo babylonian empire which was that of the assyrians and whatnot you know they came with their own gods as well mixed mash mumbled it all right then then you know the Egyptian gods and the Greek gods and the Romans. It's the same shit all today. All right. All they did was put shit in a language that we can pronounce easier, which is English. And they painted it all of them white and gave them blonde hair and blue eyes. But it's the same BS. But all of them are going to be known to be no gods soon. All right. So we give all praises to Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakurash. To wander to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the like Akim Akwa. Learning, teaching, and truth, and sincerity, shalom.